Hello, I'm Caroline, and this is Energy Balance Vinyasa. Before we begin, I will cover some important health and safety information that you should know. Before beginning this or any other exercise program, you should consult with a physician to make sure that practicing yoga is appropriate for you. If you have high or low blood pressure, spinal problems, or any other medical conditions or injuries, consult with your doctor to see if any modifications are necessary for your practice. If you are pregnant, you should be in a prenatal yoga class. If during the practice you feel any pain or discomfort, you can return to the previous pose, take a child's pose, or come into supine bent knees. You should avoid this pose until a physician can be consulted to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Be safe and enjoy your practice. Now let's begin. Come to standing at the top of your mat with your feet placed about hip width apart and close to parallel to one another for mountain pose Tadasana. Spread your toes and ground down into the four corners of your feet. Engage the quadriceps for balance, lifting the kneecaps. Your arms should be at your sides with the palms open and facing forward. Draw your shoulder blades down and back, opening the chest. Engage your core, drawing the navel in towards your spine. Gaze forward. I prayer, Urdva Hastasana. Exhale, engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead alongside your ears, bringing your palms to touch. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back, keeping an open chest. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, up through the crown of your head. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. Gaze up towards your hands. Prayer hands and Jolly Mudra. Inhale, exhale, and lower the hands to heart center, gazing straight ahead. Draw your shoulder blades down and back, opening the chest. Lengthen through the spine to the crown of your head. Engage your core by drawing the navel in towards your spine. Then inhale and reach your hands up and overhead. 
your arms alongside your ears with the palms together for high prayer. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, then exhale and start to fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down. Keep your back straight and engage your core and quadriceps as you fold. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Avoid locking the knees. Gaze forward towards your shins. Standing half forward bend, Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale and lift up halfway, bringing your hands up to your shins or ankles. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your back straight drawing your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Exhale, inhale, lengthen the spine. Then exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips for standing forward bend. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your core and take a slight bend in the knees. Then inhale and start to rise, sweeping your arms up and overhead as you come up to standing. Your arms should be alongside your ears with your palms together for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down, keeping a straight spine as you fold for Uttanasana. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees deeply and sit back into your hips. Then inhale and sweep your arms up to frame your ears with the palms facing each other. Keep your hips squared and your back straight. Engage your core. Draw your shoulders down and back and gaze forward. Inhale, reach up through the hands. Then exhale, straighten the knees and fold forward, sweeping the arms down to the mat for standing forward bend. Inhale, exhale, engage your core and take a slight bend in the knees. Then inhale 
and start to rise, sweeping your arms up and overhead to high prayer. Exhale and sweep your arms down by your sides. Then inhale and bring your hands up to rest on your hips. Draw your shoulder blades down and back and draw the elbows slightly back, opening the chest. Exhale. Inhale and lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, engage your core by drawing the navel in towards your spine. Gaze straight ahead. Inhale, exhale, and bring your hands to your lower back with the fingers spread and pointing down and the thumbs facing out. Then inhale and begin to lift your chest up and back while pressing your hips forward. Your hips should stay in line with your knees and ankles. Keep your neck in line with the spine and turn your gaze upward. This is a supported crescent back bend, Salamba and Nuvitasana. Exhale, then inhale and lift the chin and chest back up to standing. Bring your hands back to your hips. Gaze straight ahead. Standing knee to chest. Check to make sure that your feet are close to parallel and about hip width apart. Exhale and shift your weight into your right leg, keeping a soft bend in the knee of the standing leg. Then inhale and raise the left knee up towards your chest. You can bring the left hand to the left knee for added support. Keep the gaze forward. Extended big toe, Uttita Hasta Padangustasana three. Then inhale and begin to straighten the left knee, raising the left leg straight out in front of you until it comes parallel to the mat. Square the hips and avoid locking the knees. Draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and engage the core. Continue to gaze straight ahead. Inhale, then exhale and bend the left knee, drawing it in towards your chest, coming back to standing knee to chest. Bring the left hand to the left knee for added support. Inhale, then exhale, and bring the sole of the left foot back down to the mat. Inhale, and bring your left hand back to your left hip. Standing knee to chest. Check to make sure that your feet are close to parallel and about hip width apart. Exhale and shift your weight into your left leg, keeping a soft bend in the knee of the standing leg. Then inhale and raise the right knee up towards your chest. You can bring the right hand to the right knee 
for added support. Keep the gaze forward. Extended big toe. Utita pasta padangustasana three. Then inhale and begin to straighten the right knee. Raising the right leg straight out in front of you until it comes parallel to the mat. Square the hips and avoid locking the knees. Draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale. Inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale and engage the core. Continue to gaze straight ahead. Inhale, then exhale and bend into the right knee, drawing it in towards your chest or standing knee to chest. Bring the right hand to the right knee for added support. Inhale, then exhale and bring the sole of the right foot back down to the mat. Inhale and bring your right hand back to your right hip. Exhale and lower your hands down by your sides. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead to high prayer, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale and lower the hands to heart center, gazing straight ahead for prayer hands and Jolly Mudra. Draw your shoulders down and back. Engage your core. Then inhale back to high prayer. Exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down, keeping a straight spine as you fold for standing forward bend. Uttanasana. Inhale and lift up halfway, bringing your hands up to your shins or ankles for standing half forward bend. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Then exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips for standing forward bend. Inhale to Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale to prayer hands. Inhale to high prayer. Then exhale and sweep your arms down by your sides to Tadasana. Remain in this final pose for a few more moments, breathing deeply, feeling the connection between the soles of your feet and the earth, letting it ground you, feeling solid steady and strong.
this concludes the practice. I wish you peace, contentment, and bliss. Om Shanti, Santosha, Ananda.